Okay, so what's up everybody and uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I didn't do much vlogging during these Belgium races. We were on quite a tight schedule and I still have some footage I need to compile and put together that I took of Girona while I was spending a week there at lower altitude before these two Belgium races. The main objective of these two Belgium races was basically just to get some speed in the legs, uh, afterwards Tour and Love Luxembourg and then Vuelta España provisionally, um, if all goes well. Um, okay, and yet, and for, I was just chilling at the back most of these days, um, they don't want to come get involved in crashes or the sprint, but sitting in the back you do often spend much more energy because the whole vacuum that it creates gets much smaller towards the back then you kind of stay out of crashes. Unfortunately, uh, yesterday 10 k's to go in the rain, um, I hit uh, uh, those road dividers in the, in the road. In there and uh, how quickly they can regroup. Ooh, that was close on that, uh, that speed bump. Surface and it is Alpsin Felix on the front, riding hard to try and bring this back. It is Police de Mont on the front. And just in his slipstream is Otto Vergarda. Oh, there's been a crash. One of the riders from Burgos Biace is on the road. Never nice to see at all. And that is uh, Willie Smith, the South African rider. And again, game over for Willie Smith today. Looks a little bit shocked. He won't be taking, uh, he certainly might get back in the bunch after that incident. Again, these wet roads, especially if you're drifting towards the back. Can't quite see. Oh, what actually happened there? Went no, he straight hit straight over the bars. It was going to hit that curve, didn't it? Yeah, it hit that speed bump there and um, just flew straight over the top of the bars. It's very nice. I, um, yeah, kind of, you know, we were going really fast, just raining really, um, and I just didn't see it coming at all. Um, yeah, you know, normally you, we have quite quick reflexes and you just jump it or just lift the front wheel slightly. You, or if there's like holes, you just grip your handlebars a little bit harder, but they didn't see that coming and came down hard. But funny enough, this is all going to be a little bit of storytelling for the people that don't understand cycling that much. So um, I was, I'm not like, I always just get up. I was a little bit dizzy. The correct thing is not to continue, but it was 10 case to go, so I just finished the race. Um, um, and yeah you know it's like you have to be sure do you have a concussion what are the consequences how bad was that that's one thing to consider and really hard on my ankle so i think i just sprained it so it's gonna make sure about x-rays make sure everything's fine there as well as my scapula however i still have not showered i just woke up still haven't showered since yesterday um, as well yesterday we went to uh, there's no food here at Ibis and with the COVID stuff so we had to take a taxi 5k's and we got to a pizza place we ate the pizza some of my mates in the team and we had to walk 5k's back so I was walking like fuck, it took me an hour to walk 4.8k's but luckily my mates waited for me so I'm gonna go shower now um, I know um, we also only had the camp here um, we're running quite a busy schedule for the other guys in Italy they had the bus <coughs> um, so I was just like, I'm just going to go to bed, uh, eat and sleep and uh, yeah, this is my hotel room and having a flight back to uh, Girona and then another three and a half hours to Andorra from there and then two weeks later to Luxembourg. So just to put things into perspective, check this out. This is my hotel room and this happens quite a lot. Like you see, it's a lot of blood coming through my shirt. So I'll see how bad it is now. Um, to be honest, I really didn't even check. So I'm gonna quickly get a shower, see how it looks, get dressed, and I need to be out of here in 15 minutes. But it's painful moving, if you know what I mean. The thing is, I felt really hard on my uh, on my head, which saved me. So that was really not a nice usual mark on the bum. That's quite and then what's also quite funny is I lost glasses, so you always have to ask for a new pair of glasses. Left my helmet on the bus, but luckily I have a couple of spare helmets at home, so not so much issue. So we'll always have to consider all these things when you get back to racing, inform the team, new glasses, new helmet, etc. etc. You get the point. Anyway, yet as well. I can't walk fast, we have to walk to the airport. We need to be out at twelve. He's gonna help me push my bag. I'm gonna walk like a a crippled person all the way to the airport 
Good day, Charlotte. Feel better. Um, and I'll keep on chatting about cycling in general. Uh, Always tend to forget charges somehow. This is how you know it's a beast budget because there's no fucking soap. I mean, seriously, no fucking soap. My wife bought me the really nice cookies, but I never even ate it. So, does that put me in the dog box? Okay, so to make this vlog more informative. I, this is my small bag that I take on the bus. So obviously you're not going to pack out of your big suitcase um, your bib shorts, your race number, your uh, medication, whatever you put in your bag, supplementation if you have used some different gels because let's be honest not everyone always uses team gels um, regardless in which team you are. Um, so this bag just stays there and I use it as a bag I carry on the bus. Very easy to pack um, and move and always remember your rain bag. So the dirty clothes, I don't want to get mixed in. The clean, all the clean stuff will make it smell bad. So I always put this in my, because I have a, a bike bag here. Yeah? So she's going in there. Goodbye, Ibis Hotel. So Yetze is carrying my bag for me. My bag, you ain't smart, you fuck. <laughs> Maybe if you pull it up further, it can be yeah. can work better, no? It's just bags, wheels are fucked and well, that's why I have the bicycle I think it's easy to pull it as well we only have two, 200 meters to go support stage after Belgium Belgium 2 is not yet done Third coffee of the second coffee of the day. Okay, so this is our coffee. This is some of the better coffee because it's uh, Avasa. And uh, it's my teammate. It's a boy. Okay, so with Ryan A, we are very limited with uh, kilograms and uh, this is what uh, we do. We just divide it so that everything fits in perfectly. So that, how much is it per kilogram extra, Ryan A? How much? 20, 20 euros per kilogram. So how many flight tickets can we buy with that? Cheap ones. Uh, one. One. <laughs> Okay, so this is our van life, everything ready and packed to go, Mandu's bike, my bag, all the suitcases, he just came from the Rona, picked me up, 
And now we're heading back to Andorra. So that's a complete travel day if you're wondering. Okay, so back at home. Um, super long day. Um, it finally couldn't do x-rays, seeing as it's Andorra, you need to make an appointment. And they were closed anyway, so go tomorrow morning. Try and pick this up. Let's check this out. So we don't have a bath, we don't have a shower. This is going to be the new bath. Come on, babe. I don't even know what these colors mean, but anyway. This is our the bold budget bar. And you turn your shower into a cheap budget bar. For ice bath and for jacuzzi bath. Told money we can just put it down here and uh, we can just use our ice pipe to drain it into the toilet now. Uh, Mandy? Yeah. Do you agree? Yes, just say yes. 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 Of course. Cheers. Is that the end of the vlog? Yes. End of bye. the vlog. Bye bye.